All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on the F-150. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some new spark plugs in it because these are obviously fouled out from the fuel dumping too much, or from whenever we were dumping too much fuel. And uh, we might try to get a couple other things accomplished. We're going to go ahead and top off our oil, and we will crank it in this video, so you will get to hear it run. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing first. First, we're going to be topping off our oil, pulling on our plugs, throwing in some new plugs, and we're going to crank it. And we still have the old computer in there. I don't know if we'll get that in this video. It just depends on whenever it gets here. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. right here where is the computer for this truck uh, we're gonna go ahead and be swapping it out today that's what's in here right now it is the manual one but we're swapping it out to the um, to the one that's supposed to be in here so okay so whenever I got this new computer it said to wear a ground wrist strap or constantly touch a ground um, I am constantly touching the ground and I'm wearing a pair of rubber gloves to prevent static discharge they said it can damage the uh, computer so I, I don't know if there's any truth to that or not but I'm not the kind to risk anything so I like to uh, just kind of do what they say because I figure they've done this a time or two and they know what they're talking about so it also says not to touch any of the electrical prongs so I just pushed on the plastic right there from there we can go ahead and install our front plate here. I guess it's our uh, little uh, cover up plate to prevent water. So, if you want to put a, if this is leaking, you can put a little bit of silicone around it. I don't think this one is, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, one thing, real quick, I want to talk about I did have to take out this right here, this uh, uh, shroud. I did have to loosen it. Um, I took a bunch of bolts out and let it flop down enough. So just if you're doing this yourself, just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. So uh, chat time. So. With the manual computer, the torque converter did not work. Once we installed the new one, the torque converter worked just fine. It actually pulled relatively well for a misfiring engine, and it still, it still is missing. But that computer is definitely helping it. One thing, after the choke kicks off, and it tries to idle, it can't really idle right. And it is backfiring, so clearly there's a misfire on one cylinder. And it is one of the two back cylinders, I know, because the other day I pulled out the plugs and they were black again. I, I, I don't know yet if it's residual or if we're still pushing too much fuel to those two cylinders. I'm thinking it's too much fuel because I'm still smelling fuel. So, yeah. I am going to go ahead. We, we do have more work to do. But for now, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, 
subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.